in downtown Red Wing. Quite a bit more hustle and bustle in the downtown area of Red Wing here. Same cool buildings though and everything right along the river here. We went down 35 and then crossed over to 63 and that brought us over the bridge into Red Wing and now we're back in Minnesota, I believe. So we're going back and forth between Wisconsin and Minnesota, but a really pretty drive. A lot of cliffs, a lot of bluffs. Beautiful drive, I would recommend it. And Red Wing's namesake is Red Wing uh, Boot. Not the hockey team, but Red Wing Boots. And the world's largest boot is in this building right here. Gotta go take a look at that for sure. Another Red Wing Boot. Take us in to see the biggest boot in the world. Behold the monstrous boot. Before I pan up, behold its monstrosity. Dun, 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 dun. That is a big boot. You ever been in a real big boot? No, but I've been in a real shrimp boot. That is one gigantic boot. This is the top of the world's largest boot. Cruising around the Red Wing shoe store now. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of Red Wing boots, but they look very nice. Look how tough this guy is. He's holding back his gigantic wolf with his arm in his mouth. Norway. This makes me miss the Norway ride in Epcot. I'm glad I did an episode on it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. old-fashioned Viking humor. Oli and Nina. And some oof the chips. I like those tom-toms up there. A fun thing to do in Red Wing is to try to see how many of these boots you can find stationed around the city. All painted different colors and themes. Got another one. This one looks like it's pill themed? What is it? Corner drug, drugstore. Drugstore themed. Red Wing Corner Drug. I will say this, they do like the name Red Wing around here because everything has Red Wing in the name of it beforehand. If the screen looks a bit wobbly right now, oh, you can hear the church. It's because we found a little nook with some rockers. Some wooden rockers. Little nook back here. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's fun. If you come to Red Wing, try and find where we're at. Also, you can rent these bikes for free. You just have to text your number to a, to a 800 number they've got there and then you get to take the bike. I guess they just give you the code for the bike and then you take it out. And... <laughs> it's even got a bell. All right, take her around. Very careful. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> A little misadventure. <laughs> Just 
just cruising off. There goes my wife. I should probably get on one of these bikes. <laughs> I love it. She's just cruising around on her little bike. I'm afraid I'm gonna break one of these bikes if I get on them. They don't look like they're the sturdiest of bikes. I'm not a small man. The Red Bike Project. Find these bikes at Jordan Court. Here's the rockers I'm so impressed with. Seriously, these things are amazing. They work super good too. Look at that. I've never seen those before. They're like Adirondack chair rockers. Amazing. size of this church building. It's kind of a cool spot. Never seen a church kind of nestled into a downtown area like that in an old like building of sorts. I decided to take her for a test spin too. The steering wheel is so crooked though. Hey, there's another boot. There's a quicker way to see the city. There's another boot. Kind of a fun way to see Red Wing. Get on one of these little free red bikes. Mind you, they are a bit cranky. A lot of cool little nooks and crannies and what do you call it? Alleyways to duck into. Cruise around. Check it. Back to the point from which it came. My wife's over here somewhere. Oh, there you are. I can't even see you. <laughs> Rides like a dream. needs a little help. It's not strong enough, but it works. I love that sound, the church. I'm gonna go inside and check out the military museum here. It's free, something fun to do while you're here in Red Wing. I guess for the men and women who have served our country, but also just war in general. Just makes you want to see less and less of it, but at the same time thankful for the people who 
help protect our country. Look at that old helmet. Wow. My goodness. World War One. Wow, that's him. That's the guy. Right in front of him. Uniform to the left. The basement. Got like a spooky little skeleton right there. Ashley found another bookshop. Man, here it comes. There's a big bus. Woo! American Queen Steamboat Company. I wonder where it picks them up, takes them down here. Go check out the steamboat. Here's the old train depot. And it's still an Amtrak. It's cool that this station looks all the same too. Old train station since 1905. How many passengers came through there? Anybody famous come through there? For over a hundred years, think about it. A hundred years of people going in there, sitting in those benches, getting tickets, getting out of town, buying a one-way ticket. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world, taking a midnight train going, going anywhere. dangerous crossing the tracks <laughs> who is this guy it's kind of it's the American Duchess River boat down here by the water there she is American Duchess And this bad boy is run by a red, big, red paddle wheel. Can you imagine that? This huge boat run by that big old paddle wheel? I'm sure there's gotta be some other sort of engine underneath or some props or something maybe, but maybe not. This is an incredibly big paddle wheel boat. The sheriff's in town making sure everyone obeys the water rules. The back of this bus is powered by a paddle wheel too. Where do you catch this crazy bus? <laughs> 